Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful, elegant, golden and black seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where, by the way, you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share and comment. This is a great support of your site. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads, golden and black. And you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Uh, these are earring findings in black color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line or wildfire if you want for this project. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and now what I'm going to pick up is 12 seed beads and I will alternate them, one golden and one black. Okay, so now what I have are six golden and six black beads and I alternate them and I have 12 beads in total. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it the familiar way. I make a loop, I go twice through that loop and now I pull really gently to be sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And if you want, you could make one more regular knot. Just like this. And pull. And now I have this and what I want to do is exit through one of my golden beads. Let's say I'm exiting here through these golden and now I will take three golden beads and I will go back in circle through this golden here and in this way I will make a cross of four beads. I'm using the one in the center as my fourth bead and I'm making a cross of four which is also called right angle weave. Okay, then I'm going to take three like this and again I'm going back through this one and if you can in one movement go out of the next golden that's on your way because you will save time. Okay. Then again, I'm taking three like this, going back in circle through this golden and I want to exit through my next golden. Okay. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now guys, I have this and what I want to do in my next step is to reach one of the beads that are sticking out the most. So I'm going here around this cross and I want to exit here this 
bit that's sticking out the most. Okay, and now I want to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed. And now as I'm exiting here, I'm going to pick up a golden, a black and a golden. And I'm going in the next bit that's sticking out the most. You see what I have. Then again, a golden, a black and a golden go here in the one that's sticking out the most again golden black golden go here again golden black golden and go here and I will do this two more times. Okay, and I'm going here in this central golden bead. Okay, and now in my next step, I'm going through this golden, black and golden. And I'm exiting here in the first of those three goldens that are in one row. And I'm going to pick up three golden beads. And as I'm exiting through one of these three goldens, through the first one, I'm skipping the central one and I'm going through the following golden. Okay, and let me pull. just like this then in my next step I'm going through the black and through the golden that are coming on my way pull again then what I need are three golden beads skip the one in the center and go through the golden black golden Okay, then again, three goldens, skip the one that's on my way and go through the golden, black golden, exiting through the first of my three next goldens. And I will continue these three more times. Okay guys, and now I have this. In my next step, what I do is that I go here in this direction through these three newly added beads in my previous row. And now you see where I'm exiting. I'm one golden bead away from the black. You see here is my thread. And now I'm going to take a black, a golden and a black. And I'm going in the same place. I'm skipping golden, black, golden. And going through this golden here. Which is the first of the three beads that I added in my previous row. And then I'm going through the next two of them. Okay. Exiting here. Now I'm adding again a black, a golden, and a black. And then I skip golden, black, golden, and go here. First, I'm going through two beads, and then through the next one. And then again, a black, a golden, and a black. Skipping golden, black, golden, and going here. First through these two, then through the following, and
and then I continue black golden black and I will do this until the end of this row. Okay, and now I have this. Now I'm going to do an additional row with black golden black. As I'm exiting here through this golden that's sticking out the most, I'm taking a black, a golden, and a black. And I'm going through this golden that's sticking out the most that I added in my previous row. And again, repeat black, golden, black. Exiting out of this golden, I'm going through the other that's sticking out the most. Okay, then again, black, golden, black, exiting out of this golden, go through the next that's sticking out the most. Again, black, golden, black, go here through this one. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. I'm connecting this golden with this golden, this golden with this golden, this golden with this golden, and the sequence is black, golden, black. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row. I'm exiting out of this golden and I'm connecting it with this golden. Okay. Now, in my next step, I'm going through this black one here in this direction. Because my aim is this golden bead that's sticking out the most here, this one. Okay, you see? And now I will do the familiar thing. A cross of four beads is what I want to form. So I take three, I use this one as my fourth and I go back in circle through the same bead I'm exiting out of and I pull gently so now this is what I have then I'm going through the next two black beads just like this and what I want to do is take just one black like this and I'm going back in circle through those two black beads Here it is. You see I have a loop here between those beads. Then I go in the next golden. Take three golden beads. Go back in circle through this golden. To form right angle width or across a four. Then go through the next two black beads just like this take one and go back in circle through those two black beads okay like this now go in the next golden and take three golden beads And I'm going back in circle through this one. I also went through the next black. And I will also go through the following black. Okay. Then I take one black. And I go back in circle through those two black beads. You can do it in one or two movements, the way it's easier for you. Then I will show you one more time here. Now take three. And go back through this golden. 
and I will continue go back through these two blacks at one go back through this golden at three go back through these two blacks at one and I will continue this until the end of this row if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat this part from here two more times and you will be ready okay see you in a while okay guys and here I am where I'm just adding my last black bead from this row and here is what I have and now I will make a final touch of my work by adding here adding here an edge of beads okay now I'm going through this golden bead here and I'm going to pick up five golden beads okay I have my five here and as I'm exiting through this golden I'm going in the next golden then again i'm taking five okay you see five beads and i'm going in the next golden then again five going in the next golden Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I have five beads here. Okay, just like this. And now what I want to do is go through these two golden beads. Just like this two of my five then I skip the central one which is the third beat and I go through the following two beats okay and what happens when I pull this beat this central beat that I skipped when I pull it in this direction just like this and pull the thread it makes a nice angle here you see then I will go in the next two golden beads so uh, this is the angle bead and this is the one that's after that you see my thread now I take a black one and I go back through those beads like this you see here I have a loop between this bead and these ones the golden ones and I go also through the next golden and also through the next golden because here what I want to do is keep the central golden bead okay skip the central and go through the next beads okay next two beads now I pull this center here just like this and I have this then I go in the next two goldens okay like this and I take one black and I go back in circle just like this okay and then I also go through the next two golden beads okay I have this now now I skip this golden at the top and go through the next two goldens. I pull it just like this and go in the next two goldens. Okay. And now I take one black and I go back here. in the next two skip the one that's on the top and go here and in the next golden
then a black one and go back here through all of those three beads if you can in one movement in if not in two or more movements okay now in the next golden skip the following and repeat this until the end of this row okay guys and here i am almost at my last step i just added my last black bead from this row and what I want to do is go in this direction and I want to exit through this top golden bead here. And here guys is where I'm going to attach my earring finding. Okay, here it is and I'm taking a golden, then I'm taking my earring finding and I'm taking one more golden bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back here through this bead in circle. Okay, now I'm going to reinforce this joint. what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm making my knot I'm going like this making a loop going once going second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm this loop is between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull okay then what I do is that I go through the next bead and you could repeat this knot several more times. When you're ready, you go through the next seed bead and then cut your thread. And now your elegant golden and black earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my elegant golden and black earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You also help me a lot by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.